everybody, it's Crazy Fangirl Shine. We hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today we are reacting to episode 6, the series or season finale of Moon Knight episode 6. And mm, what an amazing show it's been, guys. Now, whew, I am very hyped up of energy and a little tired because I am back from work. And I was like stressing the whole way through because I literally ran from training. Ran into the elevator, ran down to the train station and... Uh, the, the public transport here in Melbourne, goddamn. Um, I was an hour late, so it's currently six o'clock, so I'm an hour late. It's annoying, but I'm here and I'm ready to watch this. So yeah, it's been a very intense week, guys. I've started work and, well, training, so technically work, but you yeah, know. Um, it's been really good. It's been really intense, but it's been absolutely amazing. I'm loving this new change in my life, but at the same time, it's stressful because I can't be on time for these things anymore. But at the same time, I'm loving it and like, I'm so excited to watch this show. Anyway, let's get into this guys. But before that, please remember to like, subscribe and comment if you enjoyed this video, but also keep up to date with all my other reactions to more TV shows, movies and video games. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. No, Mark. Well, Steven, of all of them. Oh, shit, that's sick. No, my darling, no, don't cry, it's okay, he's alright. Even though he's dead on the outside, he's okay. Oh, oh my god. God, Layla, be careful. What a badass. Oh, she did talk to her. <laughs> Same mannerisms as Tarot too. Ah. <gasps> Excuse me. What? Yeah, you fools should have listened to Mark. Oh no. Please don't tell me they got killed. No. It's so cool. Oh no, are they gonna break it? Oh Lord Almighty. Oh Lord. Hello, madam. Sh Holy shit! She looks good! Holy crap! Lord. Do not let the pain of the past control you. Ah, she's like manipulating him the same way that Conchu did. I don't think he likes that either. Hara doesn't like that. <gasps> oh no, she'll be the his avatar, right? Yeah, girl. Ooh. Heck yeah, queen. <gasps> oh, Mark. Bless him. I love Mark. Looking pretty rough, man. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't protect that, and I failed. I could protect you. Oh. <gasps> I will do this with Oh no. Oh wow. <gasps> Are they whole? You came back. What the hell's wrong with you? Well, I, I got a whole little speech there. <laughs> <laughs> oh! 
<laughs> oh my my heart is full. Oh, they gotta go real quick. <gasps> <laughs> She's such a cutie. <gasps> Come on! Oh no, he'll be hurt. Oh! <laughs> oh my god! Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> yes! Oh yes! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh, sick! Oh, 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 my God! Oh, God! <laughs> oh, well, oh, my God, it's so good! Oh my god, she's getting her own costume? Yes! Oh no. Oh! Oh no, she's becoming big lady. Oh! Hello, Layla! She looks so good! But she is a goddess. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Holy shit. Oh! Look at them working together. Oh my god. Whoa! Slap to the face. Oh, hell yeah. Oh! Hell yeah, queen. Oh! Yes, my Babies are back together! Oh, look at Steven go! Look at this man! Oh, hell to the yes! Oh, yes! Holy crap! So good! Yes! Couple who fights together stays together! No, 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 no! Yes! Oh, Steven, come on! Um, hello? <laughs> oh my god, that transition was sick! Come on, you gotta admit it. Oh, this would have taken ages to film. This is so good. Oh, yes, come on! Don't let him get into your head, Mark! <gasps> oh! Thanks. Oh! Oh my god, I thought it was gonna stab Layla, and I was like, holy shit, do not. No! Oh! Oh my god! Is that the other personality? Oh, so cool! Oh, she's so cool. Her design was awesome. I love that. Don't do it, Mark. Do it yourself. Yes, my boy! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because that's another thing I forgot to talk about at the beginning of the episode because I went back and I was talking with um, my friend Michael and he was saying, because even I thought this last episode, but I thought I was wrong, um, that the third personality appeared at the beginning of the episode who was screaming and with the broken nose and he has like a bit of like a New Yorker sort of attitude, very like harsh on the accent. And I was like, 
that's not Mark, and it's not definitely not Steven. It's an American accent, but it's like hard New York like style. And I was like, I just thought it was just me like thinking it wasn't real. But then I went back and watched it, and I was talking to Michael and stuff, and it was. So that was the third personality. So, hmm. Anyway. Because of all the glass in your shoes, boy. Yeah, I don't, don't think you know as much as you think you do. And while it is tempting to accept your diagnosis back. That's not Mark. You'd rather go save the world. Let's go. What? Oh, Jesus! <laughs> oh my god, what the hell? <laughs> what a finish. Wait, let's see. Oh, there's something at the end. Is that Mark? Uh Um hello Oh my god the face is blurred Did you see that in the thing? That was sick Mark Spector truly believed that after he and I parted ways I wanted his wife to be my avatar. Why would I ever need anybody else? But he has no idea how troubled he truly is. The third personality? My friend, Jake Lockley. Oh! Hi. Oh my god! Can't you use a little sneaky bitch? I hate him! I like him, but I hate him! God damn it. What a finale that was. That was amazing. Um, really, really loved it. And it was so good. I think, it, honestly, it's one of the best finales that we've gotten from Marvel. Which just shows that there's, they're learning from their, obviously, like, the stuff that they've done in the past. I would really like more episodes than six episodes, though, please, Marvel. Like, from now on, because it seems like they're so short. I want more, and I want more of Moon Knight. Especially, he is so cool for, for being someone who just literally came out of the dark, didn't know anything, literally came in blind with nothing but the fact that his name was Mark Spector and that the main character supposedly was Steven. Um, that's it, that's all I knew. And then this, like, fantastic, so good, so so good, and still a psychological thriller and a psychological like mess because we didn't know what the hell was going on, amazing directing, cinematography, everything, the story was amazing, the writing was so good, best, excuse me, best pacing out of all the shows, um, and just so good, like, it really touched upon subjects that are never really spoken about in the MCU, like, only like, really like grazing the surface but this really like dug deep into that and I think that's why last week's episode was so good and so emotional and raw was because it was like holy shit that's so true and I think a lot of people like connected to different like like trauma like the the, the sort of the idea of trauma and deep like sort of like hiding it deep within you and then having to later go to therapy and work it all out and just this episode was so good Layla oh dude you guys know I have a girl crush on her she is so good loved her and I loved like because I know she is an original character I love her character like she was so cool it felt like a mixture of like Wonder Woman and just all these different female characters that we've seen in the past um so it was great and just yeah it was really nice in her character as well just throughout the whole series this amazing strong female character doesn't give any sh bullshit doesn't care about anything else really loves her husband and is there just to support him and also to obviously save the world from Amit and Harrow but still such an amazing strong female character that I hope we see more of I don't know who the actress is but I absolutely love and adore Layla, so as long as we get her back in a new season or in another show with Moon Knight, 
I'm gonna be happy. Ethan Hawke as Harrow also was really good. He was very manipulative and just great. I loved him. At first, I remember when I found out, I was like, oh god, he, like, Ethan Hawke? Really? Like, I wasn't really sure because, like, I have seen some of his work and I'm like, yeah. Like, he's, like, for me personally, not, like, anything against him, but just me personally, him and his acting is just like, yeah, it's all right. Like, it's not, like, me being, like, a massive fan. Um, but he was fantastic in this show. Really good and a great character structure for him because it was, like, so many different, like, emotions he had to go through. And also just, like, the way he was playing it. It was, like, very, like, loving, kind, and it was very, like, messiah-like. And then it was, like, very manipulative, like, messing with your head sort of vibe. And I loved that so much. And it must have been so good. Like, such a great character to sink your teeth into. Like, that was... His acting was really spot on. Especially when he was playing the Doctor because last episode as well, the manipulative trait was him, like, being like, no, 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 don't hurt Mark. Don't hurt Stephen. Like, make sure you don't hurt him. He's fragile. Don't hurt him. And, like, you're like, do you actually care about him? But you don't. Not really. So then it's like, yeah. But then it's, like, great. Great acting on that point. And now, let's just jump to it. Oscar Isaac as freaking Mark Spector, Stephen um, Grant, and Jake Lockley? I think that's the name. Um, finally, we met the third personality. It's a little bit late, but like, I hope that means that we get a season two because then we find out that there's this third personality. Well, not we. This is like, it feels like this is knowledge to us as the audience, and now Mark and Stephen have to find out that there is somebody else in their head. Like, they know too. They know something's up because, like, you know, it's weird that they would wake up and then there's like blood and death everywhere. Like, what the heck? So good. Like, Oscar Isaac, like, Dude, especially this episode, well, I mean, all the episodes, honestly. And I, he better freaking be, like, nominated for an Emmy because he fucking deserves it. Like, this is the best acting we've seen from him ever. Like, he's such a good actor in general. Loved him in Star Wars, loved him in, um, what's it called? That really shitty Netflix movie with Pedro. He was really good in that, too, even though it was a shitty script, a shoddy script and a really crappy, like, meh, it wasn't great. But he still was great in that. And I cried because of his scenes and Pedro's scenes. It's really weird. But, you know, you guys know I'm a big fan of both of them. Anyway, he is a great actor in a lot of the work that he does. That's what I'm trying to say. And this was no exception. He was absolutely fantastic. Had me crying my eyes out last week. You guys saw that. Just in this episode, too. Just so, so good. And especially because, like... I, like, I know he's probably like, Oh, yeah, it's just acting. And people on the internet will be like, It's called acting. But then it's like... He's switching from two completely different personalities, two completely different, like, body languages, and just so good. Like, what? Like, it's so, so good. And I love it so much. And I feel like, like, I don't know about other Moon Knight fans, but I feel like he did justice to the character. I mean, I'm saying, I mean, I can't really say that because, like, for me, I feel like he's an amazing Moon Knight. But to somebody else, it might not be because it's not, like, the comics. So I can't really judge on that point. But for me personally, I think he was a fantastic Moon Knight. And I really hope we get to see him in more, like, shows and movies as Moon Knight. Because, fantastic. He was so, so good. And just... He was amazing, honestly. Like, I, that, I can't say anything else because he's just so good and just amazing. He had, like, literally all of us addicted to this show. And it had me, like, glued to my screen every week. And just, I was always excited for the next episode, no matter what. The Egyptian mythology, I loved, dude, I know a lot of people are like, eh, CGI, blah, blah, blah. But I love when, like, all these gods come to life in CGI. Like, that's my favorite. That's so good. And that's why when I saw Ahmed, I was like, holy fuck. Like, it feels like I'm a kid again. It feels like I'm watching one of the, like, the childhood movies where it was about, like, all these mythologies mythological gods and stuff it reminds me of a tv show i watched as well i can't remember is the mummy prince or something i can't remember but here in australia there was an animated tv show about a like a a, a mummy boy who was a prince and then there was a human girl who found him in a museum and they became friends and it reminded me so much of that show because you get to see in that show you get to meet all these different gods you meet osiris and you meet all the other like egyptian gods and it's really good it's old though so i my memory might be scrubbed on how good it is but it was still like such an impact on my life because i love mythology any culture so that's why i was like Oh my god, I love this so much. And just, 
yeah, I, I absolutely loved this. So good. And I love how we came whole circle for Mark and Steven, especially with their story, because, you know, how they butted heads at the beginning, and now they're working together, and just, oh. And also Layla and Mark, like, oh, like both, like him removing his mask so he can be like, oh, babe, he said babe, and I was like, Sir, please stop. I know you're married, but like, come on, like, but also just a romance. You guys know I love that. Even though it's sprinkled, it's like dusted in the Marvel Universe. I loved it, and I want to see more of my favorite couple now. Like, don't do this to me. Hooey! Oh, wow. What? Whew. That was a lot. <laughs> but yeah, I probably should end this here because I gotta edit it and I gotta get up blind before and I gotta get to sleep because I gotta wake up early. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for this. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on the final episode for Moon Knight Season 1. And I hope there's a season 2. I keep saying it. But tell me your thoughts and give it a like and comment all that jazz. Um, I absolutely loved it. You guys know this. I've been saying it like 50 times now. So, so good. The action as well. Just, mmm. It's so good. I love it. And just, mmm. I want more. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to stop it here because also I'm trying to keep an eye out if it, or, because they did announce that an Obi-Wan trailer is dropping. But I don't know what time that's going to be, whether that's in the evening in America, which is my morning, which means I'll miss it and I'll have to wait till tomorrow to watch it after work. So I'm going to wait around and see while I edit and see what happens. But if not, my reaction to that will probably be tomorrow and I'll try and... If not, it, I may not even watch it at all. But we'll see, we'll see. If I have time, if I don't have time in the next few days... I'll watch it on the weekend. You guys know, like, that whole jazz. If you guys don't know what's happening with my life at the moment, watch my life update video. I'll put it at the end of this so it's easier. You guys can watch it at the end of the credits and stuff. Um, please check it out because my whole life and my channel schedule is changing a lot because I'm working. Um, so, yeah, it's a lot's changing now on the channel, but I'm trying to make it work, so please be patient with me. <laughs> but for now, thank you guys so much for watching this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Here's your finger out. Woo!